Today's reading is Psalm 34. I really hate that expression, suck it and see. It sounds so vulgar. It just means let's try this new thing and see if it works. But a much happier way of saying the same thing is in this psalm. I wonder if you know the anthem, lovely anthem by Vaughan Williams. Oh, taste and see how gracious the Lord is. It's based on the words from Psalm 34 verse 8. The sweetness of the music perfectly matches the sweetness of the psalm. You can listen to it on YouTube if you like. It's a happy psalm, rejoicing in God's deliverance, God's protection, and in the sense of security of being surrounded by God's love. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him. That reminds me of the lovely Celtic circling prayers. Circle me, Lord. Circle my loved ones. Circle our home. Encamp around us and protect us. Many are the troubles of the righteous, says the psalm. From them all will the Lord deliver them. Now, whilst I love this psalm, the cynic in me feels compelled to acknowledge that this is not always our experience in life. And indeed, it would be very easy to find another psalm which complains bitterly that the righteous suffer and the wicked prosper. And why, oh why, does God do nothing about it? There are plenty of psalms along those lines, testifying to human experience being much the same then as it is now baffling and contradictory. The approach which says God protects those who trust in him is there in scripture, but it's often challenged and even rejected, not least in the book of Job, which may exist purely because of this dilemma. Life is not fair. People don't get what they deserve in all cases. And we struggle to make sense of that. Why should so many apparently good people die of this horrible virus? So many health workers, for heaven's sake. Where's the justice in that? So while we rightly pray for God's protection, and while we rightly thank God for all the good things that God brings us, we cannot close our eyes to the parts of life which don't fit this picture. We can also cry out to God for those who suffer unjustly. We can shout at God about the awful tragedies we hear about, complain to God of injustice. Prayer does need to be honest and we need to pray with our eyes open, open that is to the realities of life around us. Not praying as if we live in an ivory tower. Jesus didn't inhabit that tower. Very far from it. And we've recently had our annual reminder of how much and how unjustly he suffered. God knows, God knows only too well what life is actually like for real people here and now, for you and I, and for the least privileged and the most vulnerable in the world. God knows, thankfully. Circle them, Lord. Encamp around them and protect them.